Yes, yes, and then now. Uh, uh. <laughs> This is the schmo with the pro. He's 17 and 4. He's had a 10 fight win streak, 9 by decision. He's the machine, Murad Davalashvili, the number one contender in the Bantamweight division here in Las Vegas. He's got his shades on. How we doing? Let's go, schmo. I'm doing great. How are you? The schmo can't complain. You're a world traveler. Every UFC event, the schmo sees you at. Yes, sir. I love UFC. I love to watch in life. And uh, how I'm gonna miss the O'Malley versus Chito where I was there. Yeah? So the overall reaction to being there. The Schmo saw you try to speak to the man backstage. He kind of brushed you off. But what's the overall thoughts now that we're here a couple days later? It's all good. I know I'm fighting for the belt uh, next. And um, even O'Malley can recognize number one contender. He can, he can say my name. Even I see him shake his hand, he don't know who I was. What the heck, bro? Come on, O'Malley. Uh, keep, you got to promote this fight, bro. You got to make... This fight is big, we all know. But he has to keep talking about this fight, you know, because he's going to fight me and then we're going to promote this fight, you know, that's all. He's got to do his job promoting the next man in line. Of course, of course man. He's a champion, you know. He, he, he speaks good English and <laughs> he has to, and he's saying he's going to knock me out. And okay, let's try. Let's try, you know. Like if, if, you're, if you're a man of your world, then let's, let's try, you know. Like let's fight me. Then we will find out, you know what I'm saying? The Schmo knows what you're saying, but talk to the Schmo for a second, man. He's calling for you at the Sphere. He's willing to accept that. Right there, Mexican Independence Day, but you're Mexico Marab. You brought the Mexican flag against Henry Cejudo. Those are your people, baby. Would you be representing Mexico at the Sphere if you two dance there? I will represent Mexico. I'm going to bring the three flags there, Georgian, American, and Mexican flag. And, uh, you know, I'm going to make my Mexican people proud again, you know. I'm gonna be this skinny guy and uh, represent Mexico, of course. Viva Mexico, let's go. That's right, if Ilya Teporia could represent Spain and Georgia, hey, why can't you do Mexico and Georgia, yeah? Why not, brother, yeah. I'm like warrior, like Mexican, and uh, I love to eat, and I love to something else like Mexicans, like, you know, I'm a patriot, and you know, that's it. What do they like? that you like to? Ah, to clap those <laughs> cheeks. There it is, Marat. Don't be shy around the show. Come on, baby. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I don't know. Like, too many sensitive people in around the world, you know. Yeah. Hey, yes. yeah. <laughs> wanted know, to give some you're props. My friend, my friend. Oh, appreciate yeah, that. But wanted to give some props to Ilya Taporia because when Sugar Sean called him out, he said, hold the phone. You got Marab next. Deal with him and then we'll talk. Respect to Ilya. Yeah, respect to Ilya. He's the man. He's the real champion, and uh, I love Ilya. You know, he knows. But what do you think is so effective that Sugar Sean's doing? Because you look at the scorecards, he won every single round. Yeah, he's a very technical footwork. Um, he's he's rich. He works. You know, he's. I mean, he's working, getting better, and uh, I look him as a good challenge. Uh, he's he's dangerous opponent for me, and uh, um, as a fighter, I have so much respect to him. And uh, but we we all have to find out this, you know. This is MMA. This is we all see kickboxing fight like last Saturday, you know. That was like all strike fights. He did very good, and he he did very good against grapplers before. Let's see, let's see how he's gonna do with me. And then, but I'm I'm the next guy. We all know. Hey, let's talk about uh, undefeated. You know, like he's saying. So now he's undefeated, right? He got his loss back, but and then I have a uh, 12 fights in UFC, and I feel like I'm undefeated because those first two fights I got robbed, and I feel like I'm undefeated in UFC too. So, um, I don't know. That's it. I'm done. Two undefeated fighters going up against each other, then. Yeah. I th yeah, I think so. Yeah, I th I feel I'm I'm undefeated in UFC. So and then O'Malley, he just got his loss back and now he's undefeated. 
whole, whole time. So we were, it's, and not only on the field. Fuck this old bullshit, you know. Undefeated, uh, defeated. Uh, I have lost before. I don't care. But like now, we are the two best guys in division. He's champion. I'm number one. We all know I have 10 fight win streak. And um, let's find out. Let's give people what they want. Let's give them good fights. Let let them let them enjoy. Like mix up a little bit, you know. That, his last fight was good against Chito. But now let's. Let, he has to challenge himself and fight me, you know. So how do you think you would beat this man if you two fought? How do you envision having your hand raised? Um, me. Uh, I'm just gonna fight. I'm just gonna do my best, and of course, I'm always focused on win. But I'm not gonna say, you know, I'm ready for everything. Uh, I'm I'm getting better everywhere, even striking, grappling, jiu-jitsu. You know, I put. Uh, a lot of hard work, and we will see. You know, I'm ready for it. I, you ne don't be surprised. I may knock him out because he, he's very competent, and I have some uh, skills. I'm getting better, and I'm training, and uh, I can knock him out on my I, I believe so. There it is. Let's play a little matchmaking in the band and weight division. You two fight. Who's number one contender? Who's most deserving? Is it the winner of, let's say, Umar Namagameda fights Corey Sanhagen? The winner of that fight will be most deserving, or would it be somebody else? Why Umar fighting Sanhagen? Why he's not fighting ba Bautista or somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Umar, he don't fight nobody from top 15. He don't fight nobody from top 5. Sanhagen, he's been in top 10 a long time. You know, Umar is good, but... He has to fight somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody give me this chance to me after fight nobody, fight for the number three guy. And then, of course, if he beats, you know, but Sahagan is most deserving fighter, if you ask me. He 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 should fight winner of uh, me and O'Malley. And uh, after, you know, Peter is there, make, let's say, make, make Peter fight somebody else, you know. And uh, yeah, like that's that's there is some like yeah, Bautista good. We coming from winning streak, and I mean, I can think you know like they you can make another fights and like make. But Umar, you know, he has to fight more like somebody tough 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 fighters. You know, he he just fought debut guy. You know, first three fight in UFC he fought guys not doing very good and I don't even know if they are in the UFC still, you know? And then nobody, Umar fighting these nobody guys and uh, yeah, like I don't know how it's it's like this, it's no, I don't know. I don't know how it, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not very respectful, you know? We hear you, we hear you. Well, you took down the Olympic champion Henry Cejudo. In fact, you picked him up and you slammed him across the octagon. You got your wrestling in. You were victorious. Who do you think he fights next? Maybe it's Cheeto Vera. What would you like to see? Oh, yeah. Uh, I I see the... So... Okay. Uh, Henry did call... Uh, okay. okay, ask me this question again, please. Ask me this question. Who should Henry Cejudo fight next? He did call out uh, Brando Moreno, and of course he can fight against Chito Vera. He can fight against Peter Jan. Yeah, and then the, we will have another contenders, you know. And uh, yeah, he has so many options. I think maybe he can fight winner of. Uh, oh, he's not gonna fight. Uh, win I was gonna say winner of Corey, Corey Garbrandt and. Um, uh, Figueredo, but he's not gonna fight Figueredo. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, but yeah, there is so many other other good fights. I guess matchmaking is not in your future, Marab. Uh, yeah, I guess. I'm not a good. Stick you, to the fight. You said it's it. Yes or no? I'm not a good matchmaker. No, you're not. Yeah. You're not decisive enough. You gotta say it with a little oomph behind it. Yeah. Hey, let them beat each other, and then winner, whoever will be win, send it to me. I will take care of all. Okay? How about that? Yeah. Yeah, you like that? We like that. Okay, that's it. And then let them beat each other, let them beat the shit out of each other, and then I will fight the winner of the next contenders. There it is. Yes. Can we get a final message for all the Marab Devalashvili fans out there worldwide? I really thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. I feel everywhere and even before this fight, everybody was telling me, let's go beat the O'Malley, let's fight for the belt, you deserve most. And I really appreciate you guys. You guys recommend hard work and uh, I'm, I'm gonna continue hard work and I'm gonna um, inspire other people who's coming from small country or small village or 
like me, I'm not like best talent or I'm not uh, like, where I'm just, I got here because of hard work and I want to tell everyone, you guys put hard work in and everything is possible and uh, God is good, life is good, just stay positive, put hard work in and everything is possible and, uh, and life will be so beautiful. There it is. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. Las Vegas. We're out. Let's go. Can you hold this real quick? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> we got the double leg. <laughs> hey. Oh, you stole my technique, my friend. <laughs>